I'm just um, just starting the foreground of the bear. I've, I won't say I've finished the background, but I finished it to a point where I'm ready to work on the bear. So I just started on that uh, earlier on today. And um, I don't know, I'm just finding it really easy to get into a really nice zone painting. Um, it's interesting as Raven and I were talking, I don't know, last week, uh, after listening to a Igor uh, YouTube Kufayev, Igor Kufayev uh, thing on um, meditation. And Igor used to be a professional artist, uh, which is part of why I listened to him. And he found that uh, creating art was very much, or he believes creating art is very much a form of meditation and a very valuable form of meditation. And I agree with him. I find I can really get into some interesting zones. There's times where I don't, and they're you know, more on the surface, and there's times where I dip in deeper, and times where I stay in deeper for longer, just the same way of that meditation is. You know, with meditation, most people will find um, you know, there's days and moments where you just can't get in deep and other times where you forget yourself and then you're right there, deep, deep, not even aware of yourself. Uh, and it's very much the same way with, uh, with my painting. And just like Igor said, uh, the creative process um, puts you into, um, I don't know, a resonance or, or uh, an alignment with the creative, original creative force. And um, definitely I find that seems to describe what I get into with my work, whether it's tattooing or painting. Um, just getting into, some people call it the zone, but it really is more than that. Uh, because you're in a zone while you're creating. Um, so something's going on as well. Um, so there, there is something else to it. It's really hard to put any words to it. But uh, I do feel, and this is my whole purpose of painting and tattooing, that when I put my creative focus on um, whatever it is that I'm doing, in this case, uh, bare medicine theme, healing, uh, you know, grounding, and there's all kinds of um, you know, words I could use to kind of capture the aspect of what I'm trying to um, draw into the vortex of, of this painting, energetically speaking, uh, all related to bear and bear medicine, spirit of the bear. Um, and I find that as I do it and I go into that zone, it's a zone that's also swirling with uh, those attributes of the bear. So that medicinal healing quality, I'm bathing in it uh, and anyone that meditates on this painting um, afterwards will ideally if they let themselves go or if they were to just sit there and just zone on it uh, and not think ideally the energy that I'm creating from all the, the patterns and symbols and colors and the sum total of what it is um, should draw them into that healing frequency um, and that's the purpose of all of my paintings you know whether it's the falcon or the bear or Raven or uh, bluebirds, the idea is to create a frequency or orchestrate a full frequency of layers and levels and uh, things that when you meditate on it, it draws you into that precise healing energy. Uh, and that's what I do with my tattoos. I, I intend to tune in with the person I'm tattooing um, and in a sense get in touch with their higher self or their soul and allow that connection to do the work so I get out of my own way and if I coach people right they get out of their own way as well we're both out of the way and the creative process does the work they get healing in the process um, both from the symbolic visual aspect but also the kind of acupuncture like uh, meridian 
stimulating effect combined and synchronized and woven in with the visual image. So there's the tattoo that's that has nothing to do with visual um, or ink, and then there's the tattoo aspect that some people see more than others, which is the visual side, which includes symbols and, and you know the more obvious things. Um, and with this painting, for example, it's very much the same way. Uh, and they, my aim is to create frequencies that, that, you know, move out, I guess, from the painting to the viewer, um, and cause shifts in consciousness and uh, whatever the potential is beyond that. But I'm quite enjoying this uh, bare kind of energy. Um, it's just really, really painting itself, I find absolutely enjoyable.